Allison Heath here, Longevity Rescuer and host of your Vibrant Health Secrets free multi-expert interview series. I'm here to dispel another lie and that is that genetically engineered foods are the equivalent, are equal to conventional foods. Now conventional foods leave a lot to be desired compared to organic foods. But if we just do a comparison between conventional, conventionally grown foods and genetically engineered foods, it is amazing. There are no long-term studies. Well, now they're beginning. Some long-term studies are beginning to come out about the effects of genetically engineered foods. And we're talking tumors, massive tumors in rats, where their bodies are completely disfigured with big tumors all over them and so on. This is not something that we want to feed ourselves. So, you know, if you want to be aware of the four major foods that are problems, you need to look at soy, cottonseed, alfalfa now, this is a new one that they've added, um, canola, corn, these are all genetically engineered organisms. And you know something? The corn, the genetically engineered corn has been dumped in Mexico. And those little corn kernels and so on go and they're destroying the crops of Mexico, which have incredible corn crops that they've grown for years. Uh, centuries and centuries old heritage corn and so on. Uh, in India, they have the highest rate of suicides, 200 suicides a day from farmers that were bought into growing BT cotton. And, and they're suffering with disease. They're going bankrupt because these monocrops can't withstand. Uh, they're, they're not strong enough. And they're not only uh, all that they're promised to be, they're far from that. And so you have things like whole crops dying instantaneously and so on. And in India, when a farmer dies, his debt dies with him. So these farmers are seriously in debt and their only hope to save their family is to commit suicide. So there's something seriously going wrong with our food system. And there seems to be this prevalence in North America to not want to label genetically engineered foods. So you have to do your own research. Avoid alfalfa. It's not safe anymore unless it says organic. Same thing with corn, same thing with canola, same thing with cotton seed, and the same thing with soy. So stay away from those foods. Just avoid them like the plague unless you see that they're actually organic. And certainly in soy, you just want to eat fermented soy. So there you go. Genetically engineered foods are not equivalent. Stay away from them. And together, let's make this the best year yet.